Have you ever dreamt of flying to infinity and beyond in Enshrouded? Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Freyam and in today's guide, I'm gonna make your dreams come true. I'd say the wettest of dreams. I mean, we are literally going to have regen on steroids. We can spam click that updraft, fly as far as we want with some pretty cheesy techniques. And I'm also gonna show you how to get your hands on basically the best mana ring in the game. Anyways, let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get our hands on some sweet loot, which is going to make our mana and mana regeneration go like crazy. The first thing I really like to have is one of those Elder Boots, which already gives you a sweet amount of mana regeneration. But if you combine this with a couple talents, boy, oh boy, it's going to stack up super fast. You can also add a Ring of Rapacity, which I'm going to share with you guys how to find it in a second, which basically increases your mana regeneration by 20%. Because this one also comes with minus 20% mana, what I think is an amazing food to counter this is to basically eat the sage leaves. These also come with plus four spirits, but if you eat this, look at that, our mana bar instantly goes up, which makes our life so much easier. Now, let's first check out the build as it's pretty simple. Let's get some runes out of the chest, reset our skill points and check it out. So what you want to do first is pick up the Dex or the Spirit right here. Both are really nice as they can very well contribute to different things. Then we're going to take the Airborne right here. Gliders consume 30% less of your stamina. Pick up the Updraft and then after that we also want to have this Endurance point which will increase your stamina by 10 per attribute point. Pick the runner, increases your speed and reduces stamina consumption. And after that, we're going to take the double jump. So now we have both unlocked with barely any points spent. While after that, if you want to get mana regen on steroids, I still have 85 points, ladies and gentlemen. What you want to do is pick up the intelligence point right here. After that, you can go for absorb. When you suffer magical damage, you have a chance to regenerate mana for each point of HP lost. Pick up the evasion attack. This is just my full bolt, which I'm showing you guys right now. But um, just make your way all the way to the bottom right here. Pick up the bloodletting, the life burst, and finally blood magic. When your mana drops below 20%, you will also restore 20% of your maximum mana at the cost of 1 HP per mana. And this will stop at 1 HP. So it cannot kill you, but even better, if we pick up a couple more talents, this is going to be on steroids. Why not also pick up the blink right here so we can replace our dodge roll with a teleport. Also take the blink attack, so this will deal damage with with an explosion to enemies. Man, this is my favorite build as of today. Health regeneration from healing will be increased. Healer 2 will increase it by an additional 20%. Then we're going to pick up Intelligence right here. Increase magic damage by 5% per attribute, which actually works great with the bling, as we also have this explosion. But after that, very important, we have Water Aura. All players within 15 meters regenerate 1 HP per second for every point of your intelligence. So if we pick that up and upgrade it afterwards, you will regenerate an additional point of HP. So let's just fly a little bit lower away from my base which is all the way to the top right here and show you exactly how it works so right now if we use our updraft cancel the glider reactivate it we can basically spam this thing and get as high as possible so we're slowly making our way back to the top of the mountain see voila so I think you get the point right now. It is pretty OP, right? I want to quickly say a big thanks to both Scrubby and Mantle from the Discord, who basically shared a couple of these ideas with me to get all the mana regeneration with the talent tree, but also shared the ring location, which are both an important foundation for this build. You know what, since we already started with my build, let's pick up all the rest. I like to go with both Mason and Lumberjack to make breaking resources a little bit easier. Pick up quality gear to lose durability less quickly. Get bonus resources with the miner. And then I work my way up the ranger tree with the eagle eye. So first we're going to pick up the decks. Then we're going to take out the marksman to increase our damage with ranged attacks. Then we're going to check out sharpshooter. Increase the damage by an additional 20%. Skill shot, Ranger, which is an amazing one with a lot of extra stamina, recharge, endurance, and dexterity. Eagle's Bane is not essential as you don't see a lot of flying creatures, while multi shot can be pretty amazing. 
I also absolutely love to have the feast right here to increase your HP by an additional 15% with meats. So um, let's pick that up, increase the constitution, take out this one to increase our melee damage, increase melee damage by another 5% per attribute point right here. I play with swords, so slasher is gonna come in very handy as well. All melee cutting damage increased by an additional 20%. And yes, you can just keep working your way up the warrior tree or whatever you want to focus on. A little bit more tankiness from the tank tree. Or maybe you could go with this right here. But there are so many interesting things. But I think this is an amazing build to use for both survivability, dealing a lot of damage ranged and melee. So both with your sword as with your ranged attacks. And of course have an insane amount of HP regeneration, mana regeneration, etc. So these are the plants you want to focus on. If we harvest them, you can see that we get plus two sage leaves. I think it's not always the same amount, but look at that. We just got four after just harvesting two of these. So if you drink that, it's already going to increase your mana. If you use the sugar cane, which you can also find all over this place, by the way. Let's quickly check it out. As you can see, when these guys attack me, I also slowly regain HP. So that's not much of a big deal. But yeah, the combo of sugarcane and the sage leaves I think is amazing. While I also like to eat some chicken to boost that HP, which is now plus 15% with the talent I just talked about. There's an even better stamina recharge snack, which you can pick up in the desert. If you fell these yucca trees or palm trees, they pretty much look like that. Well, you'll be able to pick up this fruit, the yucca fruit. It also comes with stamina recharge. But if you grill it at the farmer, it will actually give plus 20, which is a lot more compared to the regular sugar cane. I already think this one is amazing. Now, if we eat some chicken, some yucca fruit and the sage, well, man, this is going to be madness. As you can see, we lose stamina pretty slow, but it will recharge super fast. Next up, we want to pick up that amazing ring, the ring of rapacity, which increases that regeneration by 20%. If you have two of them, it will double the effect, which is pretty OP. So let's check out the location. So for the ring of rapacity, you basically want to make your way to the ancient spire Revelwood fast travel. From this quick travel location, you want to look towards the southwest. This is where you will have this shroud waterfall, basically, which you want to glide to. But if we open up the map, this is the exact spot where you want to be. Northeast of the little village called Willow Crush. This is where you will find one of those big machines they use for whatever purpose. But on the northeastern part, let's say, of this thing, you also have a little rubble pile. If you start mining in this, well, you will discover a grave. If you search that one, this is where you will find the Ring of Rapacity. If you equip that one, well, ladies and gentlemen, this will give you that sweet plus 20% mana regen, which you can actually have equipped twice. So if we do that, look at that, we now have the double effect. So with all the mana regen effects combined, both the talents, the rings and our snacks, this will give us an insane mana regen, which allows us to basically infinitely spam the updraft so we can fly as high as possible. Unfortunately, though, we're also going to need a ton of stamina. Otherwise, we will simply run out and fall to our death. With the eagle eye chest, we already have a lot of stamina. We get even more from the trousers. Well, with the Elder Boots, we have that bonus mana regen. And I don't really think you're going to need a second ring of rapacity. So let's just replace this one. Right here, I have a plus eight stamina alchemist ring. So we can basically pick that one up. I also saved up a couple of these flasks of the fell. They actually increase your stamina by 20. So you can have more of these stem circles with which we can put this build to the real test. Fly all the way to the eastern part of the world from this base location. Fly over the pillars of creation straight to the Kindle Waste quick travel. So let's check it out. This trip is gonna take a while while I think we have everything ready for the adventure. So yeah. All right, so little progress update. We just flew past the pillars of creation. 
We're actually getting pretty close to the Kindle Waste right now while we're running low on stamina. So let's quickly drink a little bit of that. Wow, that's insane. We made it all the way to the Kindle Waste. Okay, it's not 100% stamina recharge proof, let's say, but still, I think this is already a very impressive build to reach distant lands. If you have a lot of stamina, this might actually be possible without those potions. My build still doesn't have enough stamina, so that basically determines how far you can fly. And yes, I think with a couple of those fell potions, this trip is going to become no problemo. But to put things into perspective, that's basically what we flew past and much more behind that, we have our base. So if I zoom out, this is the full length which we flew with those couple potions, while you can already easily reach the Pillars of Creation without that. From the Pillars of Creation, we passed the base and now making our way to the Elixir Will, pretty much the end of the world, as this is already the borders of the game. I mean, we can't really do anything else right here. Unfortunately, we don't regen any stamina when we're falling. This would have made everything amazing, but here we go. We basically reached the borders of the world, and this is where we even have snow. Wow, it is actually slows you down. Oh yeah, man, we're clearly not supposed to fly right here, as this is literally the borders of the world. But yeah, you can definitely tell that this is an amazing way to quickly explore any place in the world. If I open up the map, well, yeah, there is still a lot to discover, but I honestly can't wait to see what else the developers have in store for us. All right, so there you have it, my version of an infinite glider build, which I think works amazing to already reach very distant lands. If you have some upgrades to add to this build, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear if you manage to fix the stamina issue, which already is counterable with those potions. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you found this one helpful. And yes, subscribe if you want to stay in the loop with future videos. Right now, though, it's 4am out. I want to wish you an amazing day. I'll check you in the next video or live stream. Take care. Peace.